What's going on with the Grammys this year? It looks like Drake will not be attending, and rumors <gasps> are also that Kanye West will not be attending Justin Bieber, and Frank Ocean has said overtly that he will also not be attending the Grammys this year. So according to Drake's tour schedule, he will be performing in Manchester, England on February 12th, which would make it impossible for him to appear at the Staples Center in Los Angeles, which is where the Grammys are going to be hosted. This is interesting because Drake has eight nominations this year, and he just joins a list of a bunch of other musicians who have received nominations who say that they're, you know, not really interested in going to the award show this year. TMZ reports that Bieber and Kanye West are both considering missing the event as well, even though they have four and eight um, nominations respectively. Now, West has been uh, pretty proud about the fact that he will not be attending the Grammys. He said that he wouldn't attend the Grammys if uh, Frank Ocean's album Blonde was not nominated in any categories. Um, he says, quote, as artists, we've got to come together to fight this bullshit. Now, an interesting tidbit to that story is that Frank Ocean did not submit his album Blonde for consideration, even though it is widely regarded as one of the best albums of 2016. Um, when Frank Ocean was By asked hipsters. about... <laughs> I think it's great. I'm a hipster. There you go. Point case and point right there, Haas. Um, so, uh, so when asked about this by the New York Times, Frank Ocean says, "Quote: That institution clearly has nostalgic importance. It just doesn't seem to be representing very well for people who come where I come from and hold down what I hold down." So this is sort of a larger conversation about award shows becoming a little bit of an archaic institution, uh, sort of a very old school way of awarding certain artists and snubbing certain artists and how we recognize success and greatness and excellence within music that a lot of major musicians are saying it's no longer relevant. Would you agree with this? They gonna think I want a Grammy. They gonna think I want a Grammy. I... They gonna think I want a Grammy. That was Future and Drake. That was like two months ago when they came out with that song. It wasn't that long ago. So it was not, apparently, it was longer than two okay, I'm just ago. saying that apparently there's still some importance of the Grammys, which is why they still reference it at all point, uh, at all times. I think there's the, the most hilarious part about the story is where uh, Justin Bieber is with this eclectic group of individuals that will, uh, you know, not attend the Grammys, and it's like. I understand where uh, Frank Ocean might be coming from, maybe. I don't know why he didn't submit his uh, album. Is that kind of like a cocky move, where it's like they should have put it up there anyway? Is that more of like a Grammys don't represent the artist community uh, type of protest? I don't know what it is. Mm -hmm. But then him saying like, the Grammys don't represent me, don't rep represent the type of artist that I am, and then Justin Bieber also tagging along with that is kind of funny to me. Well, reportedly. Because like, what kind of... What kind of artist is Justin Bieber in comparison to like what kind of upbringing did Justin Bieber have in comparison to Kanye West and and well Drake and Justin have very similar upbringings actually because they're both from Canada but you know Kanye West is a little different Frank Ocean is a little different you know black gay man growing up Right. Well, I, I think it is interesting because, first of all, we don't know whether or not Justin Bieber will or will not attend, but TMZ is reporting that Kanye West and Justin Bieber are among the big names that will not be attending. And given that Drake has a tour date that he has not yet canceled or addressed coming up, it seems that he also will not be attending. Um, I just think we're seeing sort of a transition away from award shows as the end all and be all, the final say in what the year was in music, especially in the age of Spotify and people are able to find music on their own a little it's, bit more independently. We're not reliant on top 40 charts anymore on the Billboard Hot 100. Well, well Spotify charts still exist, though, and right. charts are still important. But, but it's you from, hit the nail it's on its from head. the people. Exactly. What you're referring to is so important. And that's why you have all these, like, super... Uh, heavily criticized artists like uh, Lil Uzi Vert, Lil, Lil Uzi Vert, Lil Yachty, like Young God, I mean Ugly God, Young Thug, all of these incredibly successful artists that are being basically uh, bashed relentlessly in the media but have amazing followings and like they sell out wherever they go and they're huge and they're legitimate artists now because like 20 year olds can't get enough of their music or like 14 year olds can't get enough of their music and that's because the internet's here. Mm -hmm. and, and I completely understand why these younger, and, and Kanye and Drake's, uh, I guess they're a little bit older, but these, these artists are saying, man, fuck the Grammys. Like, why are, we, why are we getting a group of older white studio executives and like record labels um, uh, choosing what artists to celebrate. Well, when the internet can celebrate the artists themselves, when artists have a platform now more than ever mm -hmm. to reach out to their fans and be able to put out the type of stuff that they want to hear 
yeah. freely. And we see that with not Chance, Chance, Chance the, rapper. the Rapper. Oh, I was literally. I, I was, was waiting for you to say it. Oh I no, like, I was just about to bring up. I was like, well, to the, to the degree of what you're saying with Young Thug and some of the other musicians you mentioned, um, Chance the Rapper is nominated for a Grammy, and I think that is just as important as the artists that are not going to be attending the Grammys. Because yeah. He's making a statement by going, saying that you don't need a record label, and he's been very. Uh, He's been very outspoken about sort of what he feels about publishing deals and uh, owning the masters, and you know that that's a, such an important conversation to be having within music right now. Um, so I, I think it's all very relevant to see how musicians are responding to the age of the internet and to the age where they can have direct contact with their fans, with people that like their music. They don't need the middleman of uh, sort of record executives anymore. And I, I, there's a quote from Adele when she was releasing, I think her most recent album, when she was just asked about what's the process, who do you sit down with to choose which songs to put on the album? And she was like, um, myself and my songwriters. And she was talking about how uh, she used to, she was in a boardroom at some point in time. It seems like, and that there seems were some like guys, fake news to me. Listen, there were some guys in the boardroom that were where they were trying to give her advice on which songs to put on the album. And she was like, if you have never written a song before, you have no place in saying uh, where, like, where my songs should fall on the album. And, and what also we're seeing is artists. What we're seeing artists take more and more control of their brand, um, of their music, and of the compilations that they are putting out to the world. That's what Frank Ocean did. That's what we're seeing with Chance the Rapper, and you know, also with Adele, even though she's not nominated this year. Kanye West wouldn't still be this relevant and this amazing of an artist if those record labels didn't put together, under his supervision, under his vision, under his creative guidance, the most amazing team of producers and other artists that work alongside with him. Mm -hmm. So yes, in the end of the day, Kanye West did amazing stuff in the beginning of his career and still continues to do so, but that is largely due to those record labels. Now, what I will say about, again, those record label executives, they might not create music, but they understand what to sell and how to sell, and there's an importance for that. And unfortunately, um, Adele isn't just successful because she has a beautiful voice or because she ha has amazing lyrics that people resonate with. Adele is also very successful because she was then propped up by this massive multi-billion dollar industry that decided you're, you're the next it girl. Mm -hmm. We're going to put you there. We're going to take you up and put you there. Because there are millions, I mean, not maybe not millions, but there are thousands of up-and-coming independent artists right now that you and I have not, never even heard about. And yes, with Spotify and with the internet, you can uh, reach out to them. You can find out about their music. Two Feet is a, is a perfect example of this. Two Feet. They have one EP or Zoo, who's a DJ. Two Feet's more like acid rocky kind of pop rock, EDM mixture, I really like them. They have like five songs, but they don't have representation because they're not doing something that's like super hot, but because of that, even though I love it, and even though I get to listen to their music, and I've like talked to them on Twitter, I've used their music on my videos, um, other people are not aware of them because they haven't been propped up yet. And after they do get lifted by the record labels, then, they have a much broader audience to like showcase their materials for. I mean, showcase their artwork. But then too. you're also introducing another person into your work, and that's and sort of that's the struggle yeah. that we see a lot of artists. Whether do you want to go it on your own? And uh, but no know, one goes it on their own, is what I'm saying. Right, that's true. I mean, no one goes it entirely on their own, but it's sort of how much involvement do you want from the outside, from the quote unquote powers that be in your music? And that's sort of the question that a lot of these artists are asking. And um, more and more, we're, we're sort of seeing the answers to. And one of those, I guess, resolutions will be fewer big names attending the Grammys this year, I guess. But we want to hear from you in the comment section below. What do you think about artists not attending the Grammys? Do you think that award shows are still as relevant as they ever were? Don't forget to subscribe to this channel, and we'll see you next time on Pop Trigger.